Hi, beautiful. Oof, you look so gorgeous today. Oh, you're making me nervous. I'm literally freaking out. Like being in your presence, it's really a lot, but I'm gonna try and get through it. Today we're watching some people dye their hair pastel. I'm really excited for this because I love a good pastel moment. It's just so pretty and like it reminds me of unicorns and unicorns are just so gorgeous. So it's gonna be so cool. And I am just excited to watch what magic happens. Hopefully it's good. Pastel is not very easy to do in your own hair because you have to have really, really blonde hair to start and you can't have any yellow in it or else it just makes a weird mess on your head. So hopefully they make it nice and white, they color it nice and pastel and it turns out beautifully, but we'll see. Let's check it out. It's like a fireball. Yeah, I know. Are you, are you part of the Avengers now? <laughs> I'm morphing into an Avenger. Up first, we have a video by Kaylee Boyle, and this is called Bleaching My Hair at Home and Dying at Lavender. Why did I do this? Nobody knows besides you, Kaylee. We're gonna try and go for light purple. This is my natural hair color. I have the front pieces bleached, and then I have the underlayer bleached. It's grown in like a little over an inch. I got plenty of bleach. This is half full, this is a new one. She's about to have a whole different look and go through a whole process to do this because she is starting off with beautiful level six natural hair. This is great though because bleaching that is gonna be pretty simple, uh, not simple. It would be simple if she went to a professional, but since she's doing it herself, it might be a little bit difficult, but she should get a very nice even lift and a very pure white color when she's done, if she does it right, which she probably won't do it right, so. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna get started. First thing I have to do is I have to section out the pieces that are already bleached. Oh, I need to change my shirt first. That transition was epic, first of all. Great first two steps. We're gonna change her shirt, make sure she's not gonna stain her entire shirt. That's such an important step that everybody forgets about and then they bleach all over themselves. And then also she's sectioning out those front pieces to make sure she doesn't bleach them again because if she bleached them again, they would fall off and it'd be really sad. Don't get me wrong, I'm really nervous. I totally feel like I'm gonna mess up my hair. I would hate to see her completely ruin it. However, I'm excited for her change. I know what it feels like when you change your hair. It's like the best feeling ever. And it's why I do this for a living. But I'm excited because even if she messes it up a little bit, like I think it'll still be good. I mean, it's gonna take a lot to fry her hair off because it's so healthy to start. It'll be fine, but I've seen people definitely f up their hair, even if it's healthy before. My roots have grown in a lot in some places not, and there's like brassy. So I'm gonna have to like touch up at like the end so that it doesn't sit on my hair as long. And then this is the bleach part in the back. She's so smart. Because the heat of the scalp heats up like the bleach and it processes quicker than everything else. Brad Mondo who? It's me, I'm so proud. This is the Wella powder lightener. And then the 30 Devoit. Why, did, why am I saying Devolume? Devolume. I'm into that. That'd be my drag name, Devolume. Devolume. Devolume Bleach. Give me Devolume. <laughs> Pump up Devolume. <laughs> what? Lower Devolume. <laughs> Your drag name is Lower Devolume. Because they always ask to lower the volume. <laughs> Emma always thinks the music is so loud. I'm um, like, lower the volume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're taking big sections. I'm happy that she's working from the bottom up, though I will say that. Laying it this way over would be annoying rather than laying it on top of it. You know what I'm saying. She's definitely saturating. I don't know if it's enough, but she's definitely trying. But her sections are a little too big. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna give you a five out of 10 for sectioning because it's just too big, but at least you're sectioning. Look how much she's using. This makes me so happy. I look how blonde it's getting. Wow, this is gonna look really good. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. My eyes are watering so bad. I would recommend not bleaching your face. You're actually not supposed to bleach your face. That's probably why your eyes are burning. However, I'm not a doctor. Who knows, you know, right, Emma? What do you think? Unless you have no feelings and, you know, your nerve senses don't work, then... I have no feelings? Yeah, yeah that was a bad example. <laughs> unless, your, unless your eyes don't work properly, um, I think that it's a very common thing. She's put on like a face mask, kind of. Oh, Jesus, yes. Yeah. Does she have any chemical burns? It looks like it's starting to happen. Oh. Her face 
face is very red. It's really yellow. Missed a patch. A whole entire patch back there. I did my roots after, but I don't, I think I did it too far for my roots, so this part's a little darker. Okay, listen. Her hair does look really healthy still, and she can bleach it again. Her roots look nice. It's not too off from the ends. If it was dry, I think it would look a lot more even. So I don't think it's that bad. I think that she definitely could have done better and left it on longer. I don't know how long she left it on for, but it seems like there wasn't enough of something going on. Not, not bleaching or not enough time. And I'm probably gonna go with time. But if she did a lot of things right, like covered her head with uh, plastic, that way all the heat stays in and everything processes faster and lifts a lot nicer. I'm not mad. Besides the fact that she missed that whole spot in the back of her head. I'm mad about that. She's doing a lavender thing. So what's probably gonna happen is it's just gonna cancel out that yellow in her hair and probably make it a little more like a silver tone with a dash of purple we'll have to see I, I don't it's sometimes it's hard to tell but I think that's what's gonna happen so my hair was still kind of yellow after I went to my boyfriend's house and my boyfriend's sister she went to like cosmetology school she helped me out what you're gonna see in the next few clips is me showing you my hair and then her touching up the spots that I missed because I missed some big patches in the back and then we did a bleach wash and then we proceeded to put the dye I don't know if a bleach wash is gonna be enough to get that yellow out of your hair I probably would have bleached the entire mids and ends over again just to really knock that yellow out and be like Ka -pow! What in the hell? I love this makeshift sync moment we got going on here. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh, wow. Obviously, it is not perfect. Going into this, I knew this was not gonna be perfect. I knew there was probably gonna be yellow pieces. I think your hair looks good. Definitely isn't perfect like you said. It's a little yellow in some spots. Obviously there's a lot of yellow in it. My hair would not take the purple in some spots. There could be many reasons for that, but I think later on when this does wash out because it is a semi-permanent, I'm gonna go in with a demi-permanent, maybe a little bit darker purple. I think it turned out really good. Listen. I'm not so mad about this. I just want it to be a little bit better. Next time when this fades out, please bleach your mids and ends again, like 20 volume for 25, 30 minutes until it gets nice and pure to almost white with a little bit of yellow in it. Then rinse it out and do the lavender all over again. Just make it a little more even. That would look so good on you. Also, another thing that would help is doing your roots a darker lavender and your ends a lighter lavender. That way it looks more purposeful and it also covers up those kind of imperfections you have going on. But I think it all around looks really dope and I love the change of color for you. I think it makes you look a lot more like fun and fabulous. And I'm glad you love it. You look amazing. Let's check out the next video. Up next, we have a video by Ellie Addis and this is called I Dyed My Hair Pastel Rainbow. I have like a proper well up powder bleach and developer. I've also got this Arctic Fox one. And then I've got this like random Jerome Russell BB Blonde. This is like what the UK girls use to dye their hair from home. I like that she has just smorgasbord of product, just like whatever she get her hands on. Perfect. Just keep it nice and confusing, you know? Um, I just bleached my hair and I didn't film it. Just remain positive. Stay positive, guys. I look like Ross Lynch in Austin and Ali right now. I actually hate, 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 hate. It's just not it for me. It's the yellow orange roots for me. Listen, so what you can do better next time is actually put bleach on your scalp. It was so dried. It didn't even look like you had bleach on it. There was such a thin coating. It looks more even though, I will say. Obviously you start off with some multicolored moment going on and we're about to get some more multicolored moment going on. This is the developing lotion and this is the colorant. This is the Bleach London white toner. Okay, so you're supposed to put it on towel dried hair. What I should be doing is sectioning it and painting it on. I can't be bothered. I don't want to. This is so draining. So what she's doing is like a, a pre-toner to her toner. I think she's trying to make her hair nice and bright white before putting the pastel colors on there, which I think is a great idea. Sometimes I like to do that with clients and make their hair completely white before even going in with those pastel colors. That way the pastel colors show up as vibrant and perfect as possible. And you're not getting any variation in tone. You're actually getting what you mix in the bowl on their head. So I think it's a great idea. And yes, I agree with you. You should have sectioned your hair out before putting this shit on. The fumes from the- Oh! Or the bleach, something has happened. Like I can't fit my legs. I can't fit my body properly. And it's good enough for what I want to do. Why does her hair actually look really good? I have five hair dyes here. Time for the pastel. It's Arctic Fox Froze. Crazy color peppermint, canary yellow, lavender, bubblegum blue. That's a lot of colors, girl. I've got the purple. Are we sure about this? Okay, so I'm going to speed up the footage and I'm just going to dye my hair 
strips of mint, pink, yellow, blue, and purple. What? Oh, I mean, it looks really cool. This just seems really way too risky for this girl who seems a little bit out of it. It was not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't take the purple, didn't take- I knew it was gonna look bad. I knew it. I've got the bleach London washing out liquid on my head and I'm gonna leave that for like 10 minutes and then wash it out. This is what happens when you put light colors over yellow hair. They all just start to look muddy and gross. Okay, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. I literally put purple hair dye all over my head. So there's like weird muted yellow there because what I was gonna do is I, I didn't even expect to keep it for five minutes, but I actually might. Cause it looks like quite purpley with like pops of blue and yellow and stuff. I like it and I'm gonna leave it. Okay, let me just say something. Let me say it. No, let me say it. Let me f say it. This pastel pink on you is quadruple chef's kiss. Like, it looks so good. Your eyes look so amazing. The pink eyeshadow with it. <laughs> Give me more. I also really like the yellow in between the pink, but I think it should be a little more purposeful next time. And like, maybe just do a few little dashes of yellow up here and down there. Um, make it a little more pastel yellow rather than so bright. I don't know. I love this color combo. It looks really nice. I just think the placement could be a bit better next time. For what you did, <laughs> you should be happy with it. you have. And you are, and you look great. So, Bravo. This next video is by Abby Hoyt. This is called Dyeing My Hair Pastel Rainbow at Home. I am going to be dyeing my hair pastel rainbow by myself. I guess first we should take my hair out of this. Okay, so now that my hair looks like this, I'm gonna brush it. She has a great palette to start with. It's pretty even, even enough, and it's light enough to do pastel colors. So at least we have that. Okay, so there's my pink strand. Is that green enough? I like can't tell if I want to add more green. Okay, the blue and the green are actually looking very similar on my hair. Girl, these are way too light. I feel like they're not even gonna show up at all when you rinse it off. It's gonna be so depressing when you put all that work in and you rinse it off and it's all gone. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little more to each one. Thank you, hair gods. Okay, and that all of a sudden does not look pastel anymore. This also is not looking that pastel anymore, so I might add a little more conditioner to this one too. <laughs> I think that's a good feeling that you should naturally have right now because I'm terrified. Okay, we're halfway done with my hair. We have done two sections and we only have two more to go. I don't know what's, what's gonna happen here. Might be okay, except the placement seems very haphazard and random, which is never a good sign. So I'm gonna say this is probably, oh, I almost I changed my mind. This actually looks kind of good. Is this gonna come out good? This is what it's looking like. I see a lot of green. Not much pink and purple going on. And I wanted mostly pink and purple. And it literally looks like it's the only thing that showed up is green. And that's all blended together and it just turned green. So I'm going to blow dry it and style it. It's giving me like coral reef vibes. You know, like bottom of the ocean, like coral reef. Some greeny tones, a little bit of pink in there. It'll be lighter when it's dry, so it'll be good. Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like and literally almost all the pink and purple came out and you can only see like green. So I'm gonna go over in the pink and purple spots with more pink and purple and leave it in for like 20 more minutes and then wash it out again and blow dry my hair and come back and make it way more vibrant because I think if it all stayed in, it would be really pretty. So this is the thing. If you went to a salon and got this done, we would section it out. We have a whole map in our heads on how each color will lay and blend with each other and we section it out according to that kind of map in our head. Here you kind of just put colors where you saw fit. Next time if you do this yourself I would kind of map it out in your head first. Even draw it out and choose a pattern of how you're gonna place things. That way you know where to put the next color and how it's gonna look when it's all dried. Okay guys so this is my hair. I actually think it turned out so cute because it actually is pastel and it is all like really blended but I don't think it looks bad. Like it's literally what I wanted. And I think it's just so pretty. I really like it as well. I also think you should like do a little wave in your hair. It'll, you know, distract from the imperfections a little bit more, but her hair looks really nice and shiny and pretty. I'm into the variations of color and the tones of the color you did are actually gorgeous as well. So kind of impressed, kind of shocked it didn't come out horrible. It looks good. It looks really nice. I think this is a really good look for you. And next time just map it out and make sure you know what you're doing before you start doing it. And also do some like ombre pieces where it goes from like blue to pink on one hair strand. That'll add to that like variation in color all over. It'll look really gorgeous. Those pastel moments were actually really quite nice. I mean, definitely none of them were like flawless, but they ended up with pretty decent hair. I love a good pastel moment. I just wish they were like a lot more perfect next 
time. Let's just work on it. Let's work on our technique. Make sure you guys subscribe right down below if you're not already. Click the like button and the bell icon if you're not already doing that. It's really sweet of you to press it, you know? So do it now. Right, did you do it? He didn't, okay, well, let's move on. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my different social media handles. I'm everywhere. You can literally find me everywhere at all times. I don't sleep. If you guys wanna check out my hair care line, you can do so right down below at xmodohair.com. You can also check us out on Instagram at xmodohair and xmodocolor on Instagram to see what we have going on. If you guys would like to text me, yes, this is a real number. This really goes to my phone. And yes, I really use all your messages. I'll be responding to a few of you guys if you text me right now. You'll also be notified every time post a new video if you text this number. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Clo. She says, hi Brad, I have a few questions for you about my hair. My hair is very thick and curly, but it's also very dry and frizzy. I don't know how to deal with it. So if you have any tips on how to deal with it and make my hair healthier, that'd be great. Well, Clo, I'm obviously gonna recommend my own products because I know they work and I'm confident in them. I would say use a really moisturizing shampoo and conditioner like Hydro Glow Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner by my own brand, Xmondo. That'll really help tame that frizz. We've combined amazing oils in there and defrizzing benefits into to the product and it'll help rehydrate your hair and make it so much more manageable and healthy. Along with that, I would definitely use a wave forming foam like Wave Tech, my product. And if your ends need an extra moisture and a little bit more of a kick of moisture, you can totally put some of my Viper oil over the Wave Tech and scrunch it all in. That will give you super hydrated, shiny waves that'll last you so long, like weeks on end, and it'll look so perfect and amazing. So I hope that helps, Clo, and your hair is beautiful. It just needs a little more product and a little more love. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.